Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I'm going to open up posts that traveled a long, long way. As most of you people know, I live here in Amsterdam, but I'm getting letters here from Ontario. I believe that's in Canada and I'm getting a letter from LA that is, of course, in the United States. So it's these letters have traveled a long way. I can't wait to open them. I believe this one's from Kylie. She's a uh, patron of the channel. We made a little trade. So I'm really curious to uh, to find out what's in here. I believe I sent you some Ice Age cards, right? We have on our Discord, we've got like a little channel called Timmy Trades. And, you know, you can offer cards and we make some trades, which is always good. Always checking if it's really empty. It is empty. So Kylie, very, uh, thank you very much for making this trade again. You're such a nice, kind person. Oh, we got a cool letter. Always appreciate it. Uh, dear Timmy, you said to send something random in exchange for the Fallen Empires and Homelands cards. My LGS doesn't have a lot of foreign cards, but I did find one that seemed appropriate for the season. The other cards speak for itself. Thanks for all that you do, Kylie. That is so cool. Yeah, I, now I remember because I had some Fallen Empires and some Homelands and you're trying to complete the sets. And for me, they're extra cards anyway. So I'm like, I'm just going to, you know, send them over to you. Um, and you say, you know, I'm going to send you something back, which is always fun. So it's fun to get cards. So we've got, oh, this is really nice. Darkness. It's kind of like the Black Fog. This is actually a card that I don't own yet. So that's very much appreciated. Beautiful. Really cool and unique card. I believe it was recently reprinted in the... Those Warhammer decks? I was like, what? And it's like a darkness, obviously with other art, but that was pretty interesting to see. Really cool, thank you. And then this one is a Tim, of course. Wow, it's un unlimited Tim, I believe. Wow, Kylie, thank you so much. You're too, too generous. And uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you some more stuff. Um, I'll send you a message. We'll see if you need some more, because this is way too much uh, for the stuff that I sent. Although it was quite a lot, but I mean, Fallen Empires and Homelands has no value, I believe. Anyway, thank you so much for these. It's beautiful. I did recently complete my Homelands, by the way, thanks to you guys, uh, the old school uh, community. You guys are awesome. Uh, wow. I'm just really happy with these cards, Kylie. You really shouldn't have. It's fantastic. Um, then we have this letter from LA. I'm just going to have a quick look here. Yeah, it's from Mark. I was just wanted to check. I think there's a letter in here too so i love to get letters and, uh, and open them and share them here on the channel if you ever want to send me something you can just email me or uh you know find me on instagram there we go open the open Ooh, this looks really interesting just gonna check if it's empty let's have a look yeah, completely empty. That's always good. It once happened to me that there was still a card in one of, one of my letters and I tossed it in the bin. So I'm just being extra careful ever, ever since. It wasn't like an expensive card, but still, you know, you don't want to want to waste old school cards. Uh, wow. This is this is a big letter. I'm just going to put this like this. Um, Dear Timmy, here are those curd apes I painted. What? Watercolors, so be careful if you take off the inner sleeves because they will smear. I figured your brother, you would like one. He's got to check. Oh, would like one too, since you guys play each other so often. We do. Like, you, you know, you see him on the channel all the time. I play against him all the time. One of the reasons I started Timmy Talks was because I wanted to record the matches that I won against him. Because usually I lose. So, I've also... Included a few cards that I believe you still need for your Homeland set. So enjoy those as well. What? That's so cool. Thanks for all the amazing and entertaining videos. One of my favorite ways to relax is to sit on the couch and watch your narrated games. Long live old school magic. Cheers and happy gaming from LA. Regards Mark, a.k.a. Monkey Killing Monkey slash Kurt Ape 83. Wow. You know what I do with these letters, by the way? I keep all of them because they're very, very dear to me. But now we got to see those monkeys, of course. And yes, I'm going to give one to my brother. Oh, sweet black carriage. 
That is so nice. I'm just gonna have a quick look at the black carriage first. I have to admit, um, I recently collected these cards. So I'm probably, if you don't mind, I'm gonna uh, give them away to people who are collecting homelands at the moment. Maybe Kylie, you need one of these three. Um, but my black carriage is in a really bad shape. So this one looks a lot better. So I'm definitely gonna include this. It's it's a pretty cool card actually. It's a, it's a four, 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 five with trample. And, and the unique thing is it has a sack outlet. So sacrifice a creature to untap the carriage. Um, you know, you can only use it during your upkeep, but some decks just want to be able to just sack a lot of creatures for whatever reason. So it, it is a sack outlet. Is it the best sack outlet in the world of Magic the Gathering? No, it's not, but it it's something. Then we've got Urini Sengir, which is a 2-2 two, two for four summon legends, white enchantments and green enchantments, each cost an additional two to cast. That is uh, so nicely super narrow. And then we've got Varus's Bane. This was our ban. Do you say ban? I think you say ban because it doesn't have the E here. But um, this was actually the last Homelands card that I needed. Um, and I got that very, very recent. But still, thank you for sending it. I love the art with the Ogrofa globe in here in the bottle. And um, yeah, thank you. It's just so generous, man. Thank you so much for sending that. And yeah, these cards, amazing. I'm not going to take them out of the sleeve because I don't want them to smear. But uh, it's just so generous that you're just sending these my way because you appreciate the channel. I I love that so, so much. I mean, you probably worked pretty long on these. They're going to get a very special spot in a deck and also in my binder, but I'll definitely going to play these. Well, play one of these. This one's going to my brother and I'm going to keep this one. Thank you so much. So thank you, Kylie. And thank you, Mark, you guys. You guys are just too generous. It's just absolutely fantastic. Um, what, a, what a cool, what a cool little mail day, man. I love it. Anyway, thank you also for watching another video right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.